This one is just my favorite one to do. It's a lot of wet on wet, letting colors bleed together. Again, choose your colors, one warm accent with cool colors. So for the one on the left, I'm doing just yellow with blue and purple throughout. So this process is a lot of just letting colors bleed together. So again, um, I blocked out my lightest color first because I wanted to make sure you could still see my yellow showing through. And then I kind of just let my colors bleed together. If it gets too wet though, I do recommend going in with a paper towel so it doesn't just have water kind of sitting or clumping in any area. Again, we don't want our paint to be too wet. Um, we want to build up our layers gradually. So you'll see me being pretty dark, darker than I was for the other videos. However, again, still, I will be layering on top and you see me going back in with a paper towel where it did kind of get too, too wet. Because this process is a lot of that color bleeding though, we don't have to wait as long in between layers. If it's still a little bit wet when you go back from working on the other page, that's okay too. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and I am going to start working on my next one. So for this one, I still want to use a lot of purples and blues for my background, but I'm using actually pink for my um, lighter color, my warm accent. Um, and I'm actually going to use red watered down with also a little bit of red violet to kind of create a nice transition in between my cool colors and my warm red color. I always like starting off light, especially when I'm blocking out where I want to put colors and then I get darker, letting those colors bleed together once I have my overall composition laid out. I do want a lot of these saturated dark colors to show through. Since we are creating a galaxy scene, we do want it to get pretty dark. Again, using that red-violet mixture to kind of bleed in between my darkest cool colors and my highlights. Um, again, going back in with that paper towel if it gets too dark where you want your warm accent to be. Continue smushing your brush, keeping the edges soft overall, and letting these colors bleed together. Remember just to let go of that control and let the watercolors do what they want to do. Smushing your brush, though, will create that nice, fluffy, cloudy, galaxy-looking texture that we're going for. I feel like I've worked on this one enough. Um, I want it to dry a little so I can layer some darker colors. So now we're gonna go back to my first one and I'm gonna go in layering some darker values and building up my entire painting more. Um, so you can see me going in with a blue-violet mixture now. Again, using a paper towel to blot any edges. This helps actually create softer edges. Remember, we're really looking for an overall soft edge look. Some areas can have a few hard edges to show that depth because um, a hard edge that has a light edge against a dark edge actually creates contrast, which makes it look like it's going back into space more. So creating that added layer of depth. So here you can see me just adding in more blue and purple and then finally some yellow and just letting these colors bleed together. Though I like contrast with clouds, I do want more of that galaxy feel where it's a little bit softer. So I did end up going over some edges and making it a little darker in some areas and just letting it bleed together more. Again, this just creates more of that galaxy feel. Um, using your paper towel again to blot it, which again, this just helps create those softer edges that we're looking for. And honestly, just continue this process until you're happy with how your galaxy sky looks. Um, now that my one on the right is drying as I'm looking at it, I'm pretty happy with how that one looks. And I'm actually just going to leave it how it is. Um, the next step, once you are done and you are happy with how it looks, is just to let it dry. And then we're going to actually, I'm going to give you some acrylic paint and a toothbrush. And you're going to dip the toothbrush into the acrylic paint. It'll be white paint. And then you're going to use your finger to flick the bristles 
onto or over your painting. If you look above now, you can see me doing this process. You don't want it to be really globby, okay? You want it to be just nice and speckled with white dots. The next step is adding our trees. You can see I started with creating some vertical lines and you don't want to use a lot of pressure on your brush when you're doing this because you want to keep these lines nice and thin like you see mine and all i'm doing is dabbing left to right i'm um, keeping it really close together towards the line at the top and then farther um, towards the bottom to show that it's getting bushier towards the bottom of the tree Again, you can see this entire process again on my next one. I created those vertical lines. Again, not a lot of pressure. Um, and then just dabbing back and forth, creating like a stippled texture um, as you're working your way down. Again, closer together at the top and then farther apart at the bottom. You can also layer it and have it thicker towards the bottom as well. And then when you're done, we're going to let it dry remove the tape and then we can add our notes over it. So for the notes, I already labeled my left side, but remember we did a galaxy sky with the color scheme is cool colors with a warm accent. So on the left side, I used violet, blue, blue, violet, and yellow. Whereas on the right side, I used violet, blue, violet, red, violet, and pink. Remember we want our colors to bleed together. We smooshed our brush to create soft edges overall, um, but some hard edges for contrast and to show depth. We really tried to let our colors bleed together overall and we can use a paper towel to lift anything that maybe got too dark too quickly. And then finally we splattered white acrylic paint over it with a toothbrush and then ended our scenes by creating textured opaque trees as the final touch towards the bottom of our paintings. Hope you enjoyed this process. And now we're gonna take what we learned about creating these clouds and actually creating a close-up of a cloudy sky. And this time we'll be learning how to use an analogous color scheme. See you soon.